Hello, welcome back. Hi, welcome to episode nine. Episode nine. She had to repeat herself. That's fun. Because you didn't say it. I know. Because I was tricking you. <laughs> Anyhow, um, today who remembers what we're going to talk about? She can't answer us. But did you? That's fun. Good job. You got it right. <gasps> we don't know. Um, Tomorrowland! Yay! Yay! Okay, so Tomorrowland is something that we love. We love. It's one of my favorites. I, it's what we go to first. Yeah. So normally, as you're walking down, you turn right, go to the hub. When you hit the little hub, right. I know you want to go to the castle, but just kind of wait. Yeah. And see. You can turn right. So turn right, go over the little bridge into Tomorrowland. Yes. So what do you see first? <gasps> Stitch's Great Escape. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. She says dun, 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 because there's controversy. Yes. Just saying. Stitch's Great Escape kind of has a bad rap. Not everybody loves it. However, it is one of my favorite rides. Now, possibly because I love Stitch. Stitch, next to Winnie the Pooh, is my second favorite character. Um, I mean, besides Mickey. Of course, Mickey has to be the general ever favorite. But yeah, it doesn't have to be the favorite. Well, Mickey's who Disney is. Right, but he doesn't have to be your favorite. Because well, he's not my favorite, but he's like, in, in order of awesomeness, there's Mickey, Winnie the Pooh, then Stitch. Hmm. Okay. It's how it works. Just go in with me. Her head. Anyways, so it's so much fun. So you go in, and you sit in this ride, and it's kind of like a circle, um, kind of amphitheater. Eh. Oh, you love the ride. <sighs> but she doesn't even do it right. The actual ride part. Okay, so what do you do? First you go in. You go in, and they prep you. By how? By teaching you about... <laughs> I feel like I'm like, on <laughs> trial. It's a rope. <laughs> okay, so they prep you, like this cute little like show of these animatronic... People and they're telling you about the different type of prisoners they have in um, it's just like a Lulu and Stitch movie so they prep you and then oh no all of a sudden it's like level five monsters coming in and oh my goodness and this is scary and we're just there training and then it's Stitch and then oh my goodness they take you over to the transporter and then that's when you go through the double doors and everyone runs through to catch a seat and you get in this seat and we're not going to go this detailed into every ride, but... <laughs> but since there's controversy on this yes. one, we are. So then you sit down, and these little bars come down on you, and they don't come down hard, but I would suggest kind of putting your hands like right like this, because it could kind of press on you Reason a number one why people don't like it. Because it chokes you. It doesn't uh, choke you. Uh, so no. then you, you have Stitch, and they go through this whole show thing, and I'm not going to tell you about it all, because surprise, we don't want to spoil it. And, but, like, some funny things happen. Like, you can hear Stitch behind you. That is this, cool. That's the seats kind of like. pounce like he's running behind you. They, um, they don't do a smell, but they do. They, yes, they do. They do not. Yes, the whole place stinks. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell. It's that smell of, like, water. Ugh. Like. Stagnant water. No, not stagnant or stale water. But it's, it's funny because they, like, squirt stuff. They don't, like, splash <gasps> You ruined the whole thing. The. Way to go. They I knew I could water. get you to ruin it. Anyways, it's fun. I think you should at least ride it once. Yes, yes. It's we ride it every single time. Yeah. But it's I ride it a couple times. I, it's not my favorite. I don't like the smell inside there. And I don't like, I mean, I push the seat up because I don't like it to be on me. And it does get pitch black. So if you have kids that are afraid of the dark, yeah. just beware. Because that could happen. They could get scared. Yeah, so I wouldn't take little, little ones on there. But, um. Definitely, it's something to try and see. Do you guys like it? Let us know what you yeah. feel about it. So then, I think that's the only one that we really know if we have some more controversy. Okay, <laughs> so um, so right across the street right is across the street. Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor. <laughs> we love it. It's so much fun. We go on it a couple of times. I We just love it. We love Monsters, Inc., so we love it. Um, but it's like a big comedy show. Um, yeah. What's one of the things you can do while you're in line? While you're in line waiting, you're in like this big, huge hallway, and there's screens, and they have like little clips playing of Roz and different people, but they give you a text number, 
and you can be a part of the show by texting your joke. Like, what if your joke is, obviously, keep it clean. This is a family place, and they won't pick it if it's not. So um, just make a funny joke, and it could be anything. Let your kids get involved. Let them yeah. text, you know, a funny joke. And then during the show, and it just lasts probably about five minutes, if that, they'll um, they'll actually use one of your jokes in the show. And it's kind of fun because you're like, hey, that was me. It's a complete interactive show. Yeah. Um, to it's work. amazing how they do it. Yeah, it's so cool how they spotlight the different people and do talk to them. And yeah. I've, several times our family members have been a part of the show. So it is just fun and it's a great memory and you just you really yeah. laugh a lot. So it is a really great show. So make sure you go to it. And it's different every single time. Okay, so that's Monsters, Inc. And then you go to... Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin! <laughs> Is that right? Or Buzz Lightyear. That's what we call yeah. it. Yeah. I mean... It has a lot of name. Buzz Lightyear Ride. Yeah. The Buzz Lightyear Ride. Yeah. Sometimes this one you need to get a fast pass for because there seems to be a really long line for this. And it's crazy because it looks like, when just from looking outside, it may not look like a long ride because people are already like halfway in the door. But once you get inside of this ride, the queue inside is pretty long. Yeah. It can go fast, but it's it's pretty lengthy. So it's definitely something that you might want to go to. Now we go in order. We like to go kind of yes. just around and hit everything. Because that's how you do it. That's a Lemon Sisters way. Yes. But, you know, if you want to skip ahead, whatever. Just don't tell us. Um, but go ahead and um, make sure you do this one. There are some key elements that um, this week in our blogs that we'll talk about of how to get the most points in the Buzz Lightyear. The ones to hit the secret places. Now, yeah. I'm not very good at this ride, and I tried <laughs> to like hit the, hit the target, and I still got beat really bad. Um, yeah. So yeah, so this will help you, but don't tell like. You check it out, but don't tell don't your family. Else. Yeah. <laughs> so that you can be like, they they'll be like it. amazed. Like, what? This is a place though where they do um, a ride photo. So um, it's definitely in there. It's fun to get that, and it gets yeah. your has your scores on it and stuff. So that's that's really cool to do. Yeah, and you can load it onto your fast pass, or it'll yeah, to your photo pass. I was like, wait, next fast work. pass. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now the next one is my one of my favorites, the Carousel of Progress. It is great. Do not skip this ride. Even if you think it's boring and you've seen it a thousand times, it's worth maybe it. something has changed. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> but <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> yeah. This one does need. It's um. In case you've never even heard of the Carousel of Progress, or you're wondering what the heck is that, it's on the actual carousel. But it is a carousel because it goes, it's a moving theater and it's designed where the actual seats that you're sitting in move around mm -hmm. the stage and the stage just has several different parts. And basically it's the story of a family going through the generations and starting back in the old times, old times, because we all remember when, um, and then it just shows you how life and technology and things in life progress, hence you can't think too progress. deep on it because, like, the dad is, like, in 1930, yeah. and then he's here now, and he's still the dad, and, like... And hasn't really changed much. Hasn't really changed. But it's definitely some of the animatronics are starting to wear and yeah. not work all the time. The dog doesn't necessarily wag its tail all the time anymore, and the end scene, which is supposed to be, like, a future scene, it's... it's very dated. It's very dated. Like, they're doing, a like, a virtual reality game with, like, this huge... It's funny. Yeah. But it's um the song will get stuck in your head. It is good. The song's so good. Yeah. It's song Matter of fact it's my ringtone on my phone. Yeah. It's it'll make you it's a very nostalgic feeling for me when I hear it. Super fun story. Um when we were there the last time it got stuck and we were there. It is our first trip with Libby to um Disney and she decided that it was time to go to the bathroom in her diaper in the stuck carousel of progress for twenty minutes. So she had Got a stinky, and yeah. the whole place got to smell it. So that was a really fun. That was a good memory <laughs> of Carousel of Progress that Thank day. memories. Right? For real. Okay, so then next is another controversial. <sighs> the Astro Orbiter. Okay. So, Mandy, how many times have you been on the Astro Orbiter? None. Here's why. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let me break it down. 
Break it down. It's really, really, really high up. Really? And I used to have height issues, I feel like. That's what we're, <laughs> that's what we're gonna go with. <laughs> and so I never wrote it. Sure. Okay, the truth is, is that until about two years ago, I never really wrote it either. I was like, oh my gosh, I never rode this ride. I've been coming here for years. And I just, I was like, oh my gosh, why haven't I ridden this? So me and my friend Nick went up there and we went up and we rode it. And it was really cool because um, you get to see the whole skyline and see everything. And we did it like at dusk. So everything was so pretty, and um, we just enjoyed it. But if if you don't like heights, it's definitely it's up there. It's way high. It's on top of the um, on top of the people mover. On top of people mover, but even which is on top of the lunch you pet. Yeah, so you're you're pretty up there. You're a couple stories, a couple stories high. So um, so but right underneath the astro orbiter is Mandy. What is the official name? It is officially the. Tomorrowland Transit Authority? Correct. Yeah. Or Wedway People Mover. Wedway People Mover is what we call it. Yeah. Well, we just call it People Mover, yeah. really. And it's silly ride. Not everyone that really cares for it, but it, it's one of our favorites. It's so much fun. <laughs> it's a slow pace, little cars that are kind of like on this little train track, and it takes you through Tomorrowland. And one of the cool things is, is sometimes... Space Mountain is broken, broken down? Broke down. Has, bro <laughs> has broken down. Horrible English. Has broken down. Yes. Sure. So It's not working. And, like, me, me and Chris got to go through it once. Now I'm all talking Southern. <laughs> me and Chris. <laughs> me and Chris got to go through no, it. to our Southern viewers. Sorry. <laughs> um, and it was all the lights were on, on Space Mountain. And so you're not actually going through Space Mountain, but you're going through like the outside part of it. So we got to see it like cool. in the light. And we Space Mountain is pitch black, which we'll get to that later. But it was really cool. So and it's just a fun little hokey kind of ride. What I love about fun. it is that you go and you can sit. It's one of those ones that when you're burning up hot, your feet yeah. hurt, you just want to cool off. You just relax. You can go and the seats kind of point to each other so like I'll sit on one side Tim will sit on the other you can throw your feet up and just kind of for about 20 15 minutes I, don't like know, 10. 10. I don't really know it seems like it seems like wonderful 20. it's very time. relaxing sometimes I'll actually let you go uh, around again yeah. um, if there's not a lot of people <laughs> we usually ride it more than once yeah day. definitely a day. and it's fun to what to ride it in the morning and then ride it at, at night, night. You know, we usually end up back at Tomorrowland at some point, and so we ride it then. Yeah. Um, but going through there, it shows you some of the shops and the places to eat, and um, you could just see all kinds of things from the view um, of, of that. And then um, one of the things that you see there is Space Mountain. Space <gasps> Mountain Space is a great roller coaster. Um, it is all in the dark. And I don't think it's very scary at all. It's not. It's the very first roller coaster I ever rode. I was pretty young. You, I think you're about eight. I was about eight, yeah. yeah. And it's the first one I had ever ridden also. And so it, I went on it with my, um, you know, my, my aunts and uncles, and they, they took me on there. And I was scared at first, and but it's it's a mild roller coaster because it's in the dark, so you don't get really scared that much. Right. And sometimes... They say that, because you, when you get in there, you can choose a side, either the right side or the left side. And word on the street is that the left side is the better track. Ooh. Well, I know the so. left lines are always the ones that you're supposed to go on because they're always faster. Yeah, because people usually tend to just go right. But left line's faster, and it's the better track is word on the street. So, But give them both a try. Right, for real. We'll have yeah. to try that definitely because I didn't, I didn't, I've never heard that. Yeah, I forgot about that. I don't know if it was our last time that we went that we found that out or the time before. Oh, cool. It's definitely something that you'll probably want to get a fast pass or get there early to mm -hmm. go on because this one, you can wait up to two hours. And um, and again, you thought Buzz Lightyear had a long queue. This one is forever. super long. But they have some games and some other things that you can go on during that. The ride is fun too when you're when you're leaving. If you go down this like um, 
Oh, what's oh, this thing yeah. called? Um, it's like, like an escalator, but escalator. without steps. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you people are probably going, oh my gosh, what is wrong with these two? They must be so dumb. Uh, it's a bell. <laughs> it's a bell. It's like a... It's like a... Conveyor <laughs> belt! Yes! <laughs> this is all going to be edited out. It won't be. It'll be still on. Okay. okay. It's a conveyor. We it. <laughs> it's so anyhow, it's really cool going leaving the place. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you have you have these um, <laughs> cameras, and it, you don't see the cameras, but <laughs> it has screens. I just not like cool anymore. <laughs> really just go on it. It'll be fun. Tell us what you think. <laughs> okay, so a um, couple of things to know. Yes, they take your picture. They take your picture. So you don't know what it is, and it's just gonna happen, and. It's dark, and so you'll never you'll never be prepared to take this picture. That's not true. I don't think I've seen be. lots of people do it. Oh, Joe and Ashley did it. Yeah, and then they're like, "Hey!" So it'll take you a couple times to but realize. But we just don't realize where the camera's at. So, <laughs> so we don't. We don't. <laughs> but That's hopefully, like, when we go next, we will take a picture, and you'll see how good we look. Yeah. So, um, another thing is is that if you have someone with very long legs, um, it's kind of squashy. And so their legs are all, their knees are all up in them. So just be sit prepared. In if you are, sit in the front. Yeah, if you're long-legged, sit in either in the very front or sit behind <laughs> someone that you love because your legs go kind of on the side. Yeah. And so you can, uh, like when you sit down, think of like a bobsled. Yep. So you kind of sit down and like your legs are going to go on the side of that person. So if you feel really comfortable, then you can kind of put your legs on the side. There you go. Um, and if you wear glasses, um, yes. tragically I learned this last trip. Take them off. Take them off. Put them in your pocket. Put them somewhere else. Don't just like hang them here like you're cool. Um, I put my sunglasses here and I have never seen them again. Sad. Day. It is very sad because they were very, very cute glasses um, when I worked at an eye place. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure I can get those back. But, um, or tuck them inside your shirt. Yeah. So that it's there. Because even though it's not an outside roller coaster, it is an inside roller coaster. It does go fast. It does not go upside down, but things are going to fly off. Hats yeah. will go, glasses will go. So just secure all your things. So the next ride that we have is that is the next ride going is when you. The last one, right? Yeah, last one in Tomorrowland is um, the Tomorrowland, Tomorrowland Speedway. Speedway. Yeah. Now, we haven't been on this ride in years and years and years. It's more for, like, the little kid. You know, my theory is, oh, I drive a real car. But what so, is the Tomorrowland Speedway? Oh, just kidding. Um, Tomorrowland <laughs> Speedway is some race cars. Yay. You know, we're from um, right outside Indianapolis is where we live. So, you know, speedways are big deals here. And um, yeah. so your, your kid, somebody who has, doesn't drive, or you can go and drive the speedway cars around and yeah. they bump and they're fun so they're not motorized they're on their own track so yeah. you can't go off track and you really aren't driving it it's just kind of, i mean you you can move the car a little bit but uh it's it's not really it's more of a kitty ride yeah. but it's fun yeah. and some people really really love it so um it's just not one of our we're like, gonna go on it next time yeah but it's not one of our oh my gosh i have to absolutely it's not that. a lemon sisters must do true story true story yeah but there's several places to shop and eat. Um, yeah. Cosmic Rays is one of our favorites that we go to. They have just such big portions. Yeah. In the, um, <laughs> it's because we're fat, right? Yeah. Sad. We like big portions. Um, we have a lot of big eaters in our family, so big portions are great um, for your money. Um, yeah. It's a really good thing. So. And but, they also have a Cosmic um, Ray. Not Cosmic Rays. <laughs> cosmic Rays. They have um, this little Cosmic Ray playing this little piano thing yeah and like the there's like a the little dining part down like you walk a couple steps down and he's playing so it's kind of like some little entertainment the kids will like it it's fun yeah it's very cool um so tomorrowland is definitely a lot of fun another thing that we didn't discuss is push what is push maybe push is a trash can in tomorrowland that talks to you what it, it's a trash can that talks to you okay and it is, his name is Push, because get it, like, what does the sign say when you go trash away? It's push. push. Get it? Push. 
Anyways, so he's really cool. I'll talk to you. I've never seen Push. I've only seen videos. I've only seen videos and memes on Facebook. And of memes? Push. Memes. You don't know what a meme is? No, what's a meme? I mean, like those funny little things. Like, they're, you really don't know what a meme is? No. Those clips. Like, it'll say, like, smart looky things and it has, like, a picture. Oh. Uh, Anyways, okay. it's funny. Funny. So, but Push is a trash can and you you might go around to every trash can and look absolutely silly <laughs> trying to talk to him. Oh, oh, please, if you do, will you videotape it and send it <laughs> to, to us? Find we will Push. make an episode. I think he's in different spots, but I'm going to, I'm going to find him or her. It's a boy, I think. I'm going to find Push. Yeah. As the next time we go. So if you know where Push is at, let us know. Tell us. Because we want to find him. Yeah, it's super fun. Um, the videos are hilarious, so if you yeah. go to YouTube, look at them. But um, it is just one of the nice little Disney magic that makes it such a fun little yeah. time. So that's all for Tomorrowland. What is your favorite? What do you like? Give us some feedback so we know um, what if we missed anything. Yeah, so, you know. what we didn't know. You know, there is one other thing. There is a Apparently stage. We did. Miss we did. There is a stage um, in Tomorrowland that they do um, watch for like special shows and. Yeah. Uh, things that they'll do there. I heard they have kind of like at dusk, they have a Chippendale party. Oh, yeah. and they're Not like the strippers, but like the... the, the like, ch like Chippendale. Like Chippendale. Yeah. Oh, they're on the wall here. Um, but, it, yeah, and they're dressed kind of in like a future, future yeah. futuristic outfit. Space outfit. Space outfits. Yeah. Oh, and <laughs> on by the Carousel of Progress, a lot of times, Stitch is outside yeah. of Carousel of Progress. And he is so much fun. Of course, I love him. Um, he, like, will give you hugs and, like, Dang. give you, give you will, will, willies. And he's funny. So you want to get your picture with him. Definitely. It's a, a fun time. Yeah. Okay. So make sure you guys um, are signing up for our newsletter. Yes. So that we can send you all kinds of stuff and special things that you're not going to see in the blogs. Um, from time to time, just for our subscribers. Yep, and make sure you like this video if you like it. Yeah. And uh, make sure you subscribe, as she said, and leave a comment below. Leave us a video response. Definitely. Tell us what you like and what you want to hear about. Absolutely. So um, next is going to be <gasps> the old fantasy land. Old fantasy land. Old fantasy land. So we've already covered new fantasy land. So we're going to talk about a fantasy land. So let us know what you guys want to hear about fantasy land yeah. um, in the okay. comments below. All right. Okay. So, until next time, have a magical day.